Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Education Arena. Today's topic Transport System of Assam for Class 10 and from Social Science the Geography Chapter 4 Geography of Assam. Transport System of Assam Presently, transport is an essential component of economic development. Means for economic development of a region or a state or a country, the transport is the most essential component. The number two, establishing communications and linkages among different regions. A good transport system helps in the exchange of resources, knowledge, culture and civilization means through transport system we can exchange different resources knowledge culture and civilization between different places or between different states or country in addition to the creation of employment opportunities a country may attain overall development through an efficient transport system means a good transport system or efficient transport system also give us the employment opportunities and also it try to develop the overall condition of a country the next, a well-coordinated transport system covering land, water and airways is the lifeline of a country. Means, the transport system is a lifeline of a country and it includes the road, rail, air and water. The development of economic sectors like industry, agriculture, commerce and communication etc. depends on efficient transport system. Means, on transport systems, all the economic development sectors, industry, agriculture, commerce, communications are different. The next point, the transport system also plays an important role in the development of social, culture and political fields of a country. Means, the transport system also try to develop and also help to develop the social condition, the cultural condition and the political conditions of a country. We know that Assam is the gateway of the Northeast India. Through this gateway, the states of Northeast India are maintaining links with entire India. Means all the Northeastern regions are connected with India through Assam. So, Assam is called gateway of Northeast India. So, the economic development of Northeast India is closely associated with the development of the transport system of Assam. Means, all the Northeastern regions are depend on the transport system of Assam. Because through Assam, they are connected with entire India. The available transport systems of Assam are the road transport, rail transport, water transport and air transport. Road transport. Road transport is the oldest system of transport and it is convenient for movement of public and goods. It is more suitable for short distance. The road transport system has its significant role on the rural economy of Assam. Means it is the oldest one and it is convenient for both public and goods and it is more suitable for short distance and it is help us to develop our rural economy system of the state the main advantages of road transport are number a road transport is convenient fast and reliable Number B, it can easily make linkages and connections with the small and interior places. Number C, it can nicely provide communications among the hills, plateaus and plains. Means, road transport is very convenient, fast and reliable and it can easily connect it with the small and the interior places and it can nicely provide communication on hilly region, plateau region and the plain regions. Number D, in transporting the agricultural and industrial products, road transport system is specially useful. Number E, in the case of repairment and construction etc., 
the road transport system involves the less expenditure as compared to some other transport system through road transport we can easily transport the agricultural products and the industrial products and in the case of repairman and the construction the road transport system involves the less expenditures number f road transport system has directly helped in the development of tourism industry of the state by connecting the tourist spots by roads means road transport also help to develop the tourism industry of the state because it connect all the tourist places by the roads number 2 railway transport another major component of the transport system is the railway transport the railway transport has substantially contributed towards the economic development of india presently railway transport has gradually progressed in assam and it has been able to influence the economy of the state means like the road transport the railway transport also help to develop our economic condition of our state like the road transport system the railway transport system has also some advantages such as number a railway transport is convenient and reliable in carrying passengers and goods for longer distance means for longer distance the railway transport is very helpful and for shorter distance the road transport is very helpful number b in the case of transport of necessary resources essential for infrastructural and industrial development along with the economic development of assam the railway transport system has been playing a vital role means through the railway transport we can carry any resources to develop our infrastructural and industry of the state number c employment opportunities are created due to expansion of railway transport in the state number d this transport system has enhanced national unity by connecting assam with the distant states of the country number e railway transport has become auxiliary to the development of road transport system means the road transport system also give the employment opportunities when it expand then it also create the connections between the other states of the country and it is also help to develop the road transport system number 3 water transport the water transport system of assam is basically the inland water transport system assam is a land of rivers the brahmaputra and the borak rivers and their numerous tributaries which account for 32% of the total water resources of india are serving as the waterways of the state means mainly assam have the inland water transport system and in assam there are mainly two big rivers the brahmaputra and the borak rivers and they have numerous tributaries and which help us to serving the waterways properly the 891 km long course of the brahmaputra from sodia to dhuburi and 121 km long course of the borak are navigable the navigable waterway of the brahmaputra was declared in 1988 as the second national waterway of the country the river brahmaputra 891 km long and the river borak 121 km long and in the year 1988 the brahmaputra was declared the second national waterway of the country this waterway has been contributing much to the economic development of entire northeast india including assam means the waterways developed the northeast india also assam
the advantages of the inland water transport of assam are number a there are opportunities for expansion of the water transport system in assam being a land of rivers number b expenditure for fuel in water transport is less as compared to other modes of transport means in assam there have a opportunities to expand the water transport system and also the expenditure for fuel in the water transport is less compared to the other modes of transport like the road and railway transport number c water transport is more useful in transporting heavy goods means to transport the heavy goods the water transport is very useful the number d the inland water transport has been serving for the transport of goods and passenger within the state e like the road transport the water transport has no such problem of air pollution means like the road transport the water transport has no any air pollution number f the water transport system has been extending help to the people of places backward in road communication for movement of goods and passengers means the places which are backward in road communication the water transport help this type of places for movement of goods and passengers number z during natural disasters especially flood in the state the water transport plays an important role means during flood the water transport help to carry out the people or the goods number h there are no problems like repairing maintenance road construction etc in the case of water transport system because the natural rivers and streams are used for waterways means in waterways there have no any problems like maintenance and road construction etc number 4 air transport air transport is an integral component of the modern transport system at present the air transport sector of assam has made some developments assam now stays connected with different places of india through air transport means like india assam also develop in air transport system and it's also connected the different places of india in air transport of the states is in operation through the civil airports located at guwahati tezpur jorhat dibrugarh north lokhimpur and silchar in addition one more civil airport located at rupsi dhuburi is lying close for long time all the major airlines under private sectors are operating regular flights to and from guwahati means all the private sectors airlines flights are operating from guwahati or operating to guwahati besides this some private companies and agencies are also operating helicopter services within the state or connecting the interior places of the states of northeast india means some private companies or agencies also operating some helicopters and with the help of this helicopters they connected the interior places of northeast india the airport located at borjar guwahati is known as the lokopiyo gopinath bordola international airport and this is the only international airport in whole of northeast india means the northeast india have only one international airport which is located in guwahati and it's connected whole northeastern assam with other international places advantages of air transport number 1 high speed it is the fast speed means of transport passengers and goods can be transported easily from one place to another means with the help of air transport we can easily transported the goods and passengers from one place to another number 2 minimum cost unlike railways and road transport there is no need to spend money on the construction of any track or road 
only airports have to be constructed. Means for air transport, they need only the airports. They no need any construction of roads or any track. Number three, strategic importance. An airway has great strategic importance. It can be used for internal and external security. Means the air transport give us internal and external security. The number four, easy transport of costly and light goods. It is quite convenient to send costly, light and perishable goods through air transport. Means the items like the perishable and the costly and light goods easily move from one place to another through the air transport. Number five, free from physical barriers. Air transport is free from physical barriers like river, mountains and valleys etc. But other modes of transport like road, railway uh, etc. are face different physical barriers. Lastly, we can say that all the modes of transport are necessary for us and all are connected with each other means the roadways connected with railways the railways connected with waterways and road railway waterways also connected with airways